I see you, room 52. Hola, how are my friends today? Great. I have a story called The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Oh, sounds so tough, but great story. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Retold by Bonnie Dopkin, illustrated by C.B. Vora. Once upon a time, in a beautiful green valley, there lived three brothers who just happened to be goats. They were known as the Three Billy Goats Gruff, and they were as different as different could be. The oldest brother was Big Billy Goat Gruff. He was big and he was strong and he was rough and he was tough. He had thick, curvy horns and a head like a boulder and his hooves crushed the rocks when he walked. He wasn't afraid of anything. Being big can sometimes make you feel like that. The second brother was Middle Billy Goat Gruff. He was half the size of his big brother, and his horns were short and thin. He was a very nervous goat, and sometimes he thought no one listened to him. Being in the middle can sometimes make you think like that. The youngest brother was Little Billy Goat Gruff. He was a tiny little goat with tiny little hooves, and the nubs of his horns barely poked from the top of his head. He liked to talk, and he thought he was smart. Being small can sometimes make you act like that. Now, what the three billy goats gruff liked to do more than anything in the world was eat the long green grass in their beautiful valley. They ate in the morning, they ate in the afternoon, they ate in the evening until the sun went down. They had so much that there soon was very little grass left to eat. What, what do we do? said Millie, Middle Billy Goat Gruff. If we don't find more grass, will soon be nothing but skin and bones. Then we'll find more grass, said Big Billy Goat Gruff. But where? asked the middle brother. Where are we going to find more grass? I know, said Little Billy Goat Gruff, feeling very smart. We'll go down to the meadow on the other side of the river. We can stay for days and eat and eat and eat. And soon we'll be very, very fat. But the little goat's idea was not as simple as it seemed. You see, the only way to cross the river was on a long wooden bridge. Under the bridge lived a hideous, horrible, stinky old troll. The troll had bumpy green skin, and great froggy eyes. He had a big squashed nose that was always dripping. His teeth were snaggly, his claws were fraggly, and he smelled like a foot. Oh, yes. He also ate anyone who tried to cross his bridge. We can't go across that bridge cried middle, middle Billy Goat Gruff. What about the troll? I'm not worried about the troll, said Big Billy Goat Gruff. Well, I am, said his middle brother. I don't feel like being eaten for lunch. Don't worry, said Little Billy Goat Gruff, feeling very smart indeed. I have a plan. And he told them what it was. The next morning... Little Billy Goat Gruff set off across the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap went his tiny little hooves on the wooden planks. A
terrible roar rose up from below. Who's trip trapping across my bridge? It is only I, little Billy Good Gruff, said the goat. Why are you walking across my bridge? yelped the hideous, horrible, stinky old troll. I'm going to eat the green grass in the meadow and make myself fat, said the goat. Oh, no, you're not, roared the troll, because I'm coming to eat you. He leapt on top of the bridge. Little Billy Goat Gruff trembled where he stood. Oh, please, Mr. Troll, don't eat me. I'm too small, and you'll be finished in one gulp. Wait for my brother. He's much bigger and fatter than I am. Hmm, thought the troll. Why not? I can always catch you on your way back home. Very well, said the troll. Be off with you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Troll, said the little billy goat gruff. And he trip-trapped his way to the far side of the bridge and into the meadow. A little while later, middle Billy Goat Gruff sat across the bridge. Clip-clop, clip-clop went his hooves on the wooden planks. A roar rose up from below. Who's clip-clopping across my bridge? Middle Billy Goat shook so hard he almost fell down. <laughs> so only I, <laughs> Middle Billy Goat Gruff. Why are you walking across my bridge? Yelped the hideous, horrible, stinky old troll. I'm going to eat green grass in the meadow and make myself <laughs> fat, said the goat. Oh, no, you're not, roared the troll. Because I'm coming up to eat you. He leapt on top of the bridge. Middle Billy Goat wobbled where he stood. Oh, please, Mr. Troll, don't eat me. I'm not very big. You'll be done in two gulps. Wait for my brother. He's much bigger and fatter than I am. Hmm, thought the Troll. I can eat your big brother, then catch you and the little goat on your way home. Very well, said the troll. Be off with you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Troll, said middle Billy Goat Gruff. He clipped, clopped as fast as his hooves could take him to the other side of the bridge and into the meadow. A little while later, when the sun was high in the sky, Big Billy Goat Gruff set a cough across the bridge. Doom, 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 went his hooves on the wooden planks. A roar rose up from below. Who's trip dropping across my bridge? It is I, Billy Goat Gruff, said the goat. Why are you walking across my bridge? yelled the hideous, horrible, stinky old troll. I'm going to eat the green grass in the meadow and make myself fat. Oh, uh, no you're not, roared the troll. Because I'm coming up to eat you. Well, said Billy Goat Gruff, what are you waiting for? And the troll leaped on top of the bridge. Big Billy Goat Gruff stared at the troll. The troll stared at Big Billy Goat Gruff. Then Big Billy Goat lowered his head and charged. He knocked down the troll with his big hard head. He stomped on the troll with his huge sharp hooves. Then he picked up the troll with his long curved horns and 
tossed him high into the air. The troll spun in circles and dropped into the river with a great splash. As the rushing waters carried him away, he shouted and spouted and spit and screamed and yelled something nasty about goats. That was the last anyone ever saw of the hideous, horrible, stinky old troll. And the three billy goats gruff, they lived happily in the valley for the rest of their lives, eating the green grass on both sides of the river and getting very fat. Oh, I like that story. Hope you enjoyed it, my friends. Bye-bye, amigos.